good thing there's a rope. Whew. Let's do it. Philip is buying the parking ticket and me gearing up to go to the mountain so we're gonna go up there and from here you can also spot the famous Neuschwanstein castle if you're gonna park here it costs uh, five euros for the whole day go for a cable car ride we also did last week right <laughs> when we were in Austria so Tegelberg. The ticket back and forth cost 28 euros and 50 cents for um, one person. And they are open until 4.30. I don't know if it's just today or it's just during winter. Every day. Every day. What a view here. Next time I'm gonna go parasailing. <laughs> From here, you can really see that there are so many lakes in this area, right? Just on this side, I can spot one, two, three, four, five, six lakes. Oh, so beautiful here. Plus, the weather is very, very nice. It doesn't feel like winter today like spring yeah it's like spring and then you can also go for a little hiking over there the Neuschwanstein castle is somewhere there so we'll go up there guys up to the cross, up to the cross. I don't know if you can spot that from here German Alps so we haven't really explored the Fusen town yet so I think that's what we're gonna be doing later if we still have time and then we will also check out the Neuschwanstein castle closer that's the plan for now it may be changed later let's see my god we have to do this more often. Fitness goal for 2023. My butt is burning. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're on a wrong outfit. Next time, we have to bring our hiking shoes with us. Every time we go on a weekend trip, Okay. Oh. Water break. Yes. Mm. Mm. Looks like in um, Sud Tirol. Right? Quick meal break. Yes. I need sugar. Grapes and apple. You want some? Huh? No.
want to challenge yourself and you don't want to take the cable car there's a trail there but it's quite dangerous especially now like there's a lot of ice it must be nice too Still have energy yes you see that cross we're almost there I have to climb so we've come to the most challenging part it's even more challenging because we're only with only. normal trainers we don't have hiking shoes on to load. <laughs> what am i doing here and why i'm doing this rewarding right and we have the 360 view of the place the mountains how many lakes are there down there a lot still have to climb more to go up there the challenge is not over yet philip is already starting his journey go up lots of mountain peaks 360 view so what do you think is it doable without hiking shoes see good thing there's a rope we didn't expect this the first time we came here we didn't take this trail here I think that was close that time Whew. let's do it <laughs> the stones are so so cold <laughs> or i'm holding guys it's only philip who continued the journey up there i can't take it anymore i'm so i'm so afraid <laughs> decided to just wait for him here and not to continue climbing but here it's also very nice view so i'm already happy what i have accomplished so far <laughs> self-service restaurant and there's a balcony or a terrace there and we have the mountain view so we got cappuccino a blueberry cheesecake cappuccino cost 4 euros and 70 cents as usual you are paying for the view here really nice So guys, we're here at our hotel and it's a self check-in here but they already gave us instructions how to open Oh wow, it looks nice here Oh, it's 
smells good here. Looks renovated. New to the street. We even have mini bar. Mini bar. And then our view here is the view of the street. Pretty nice here. It's pretty cozy. On the bed is jemand muss wenn er früh schläft. 93 euros. Breakfast. breakfast is included. Okay. Nice. Nice here. windy today but as usual the sun is up we are going to a little hiking adventure it's just like three kilometers from where we park our car so it's the it's in the Tegelberg um, parking place and then we paid five euros again for the whole day it's cheaper than if you will park there where the castle is so we're going to Marienbrücke it's a famous viewpoint it's a bridge actually where you can spot the nice angle of the famous Neuschwanstein castle so as I said it's only about three kilometers from where we park our car and let's go there we see it from here the bridge but i can already spot it 9 30 in the morning and look at the valley so beautiful and that's tegelberg where we um, went to yesterday and also did a challenging hiking so we are approaching now the foot of the mountain or the valley i would say where the castle is super easy everything is written the trail you just have to follow it right this hike is about to get real i think we're gonna go up now or not yet There's a little waterfall. This one is so dry. We came across the main trail and there are already people, visitors coming to the castle. We are at the main road already. Tourists are coming. Wow, this horses are so massive. They're so big. So if you are not fond of hiking, you can take those horse riding to go up to the hill here guys we're getting closer to the castle no drones allowed here by the way looks so big closer we came from that direction guys I don't know if it's uh, clear here in my video <laughs> Here comes the most photographed corner. Lots of people here already, but we're not, we will not go inside the castle because first we don't have tickets. Second, it's, um, it's not allowed to make videos and uh, take photos inside. 
Nearby, really nice view, and here different angle of the Neuschwanstein Castle. Only 139 people capacity. Yeah. So we're here guys, we're here at our goal, so that's it, here it's very breathtaking, look, it's really hard to take a decent photo here, too much people, and here there's a Waterfall called Schloss Hohenschwangau and there are also a bunch of hotels here restaurants, cafes and yeah super touristy okay. Schwanstein castle at the back and then in this way there is a lake let's check it out Mm. The other castle, a little bit smaller than the Neuschwanstein, but also looking nice. Museum der Bayerischen Könige. And then here's the lake. Alpsee is the name of this lake. We're here at Fusen now and it looks so lively here. This is the first day of 2023 that everything is open again after the New Year's holiday. So yeah, it's just feels so good to be here. Oh, oh, oh. 